enraged apple demons as my first tag task. Honestly, it might be smart to just get rid of the potions even and just accept my death if it comes around and just let them kill me quickly and just get right back into it and only focus on points. If we can get away with some loot, fantastic. If not, whatever, deal with it. Just keep moving because uh, I feel like the points are going to be the most crucial thing here. We are currently at 3 points. Well, 3,284, let's just say it specifically. Um, hoping to get to 6.25k for the Relic, but I'm not sure how that will go. Swiftbow is not hitting the worst right now, but it's yeah, it's noticeable. I'm not hitting hundreds upon hundreds every hit anymore. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's get to it. Okay, I just got one shot out of nowhere. That went so fast I couldn't react to it. I don't even feel like the Master Rope was doing anything because it doesn't show up next to your name. Made me lose a Din's Bulwark, it went that quickly because I couldn't even drop my death pet in time. Bit unfortunate, but whatever, I'm not even going to bring it the next time. <laughs> Man talks so much shit and then he runs out of food against the PVR, that's hilarious. Oh shit man, our timer's uh, about to run out here. Five seconds and I had four kills left unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna run out of the big points. We are so close but I'm gonna need a few more tasks to finish it off. Unfortunately, enough PKers did show up at one point and they took quite a bit of minutes from me. It is what it is, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to finish this relic. It's still gonna be double Slayer points even after this, so yeah, whatever. Alright, I'm kind of done with this. Uh, I think we are short a little bit still. 60, 89 points. But I was thinking it's edge hotspot, edge hotspot right now. Do a little bit of that. Hopefully it's packed enough. And then we can just use Blood Slayer task on Bounty Hunter to get some points from that. Easy peasy, solves the issue. Can't wait to get that relic. Make another like 4 to 5 trill. I'm not exactly sure how much they're going for. I'm sure a bunch of them are uh, entering the market at once due to the 8x Slayer points, it always be like that. I think I got some Vorkaf uh, teleports from that, nothing too crazy, but you know. It wasn't for the loot, it's all for the relic. Alright, let's go risk some shit once again, good luck to this first target over here. Bro, I didn't even get my task yet, hold up, don't die yet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that works, good fight, first target kill. Immediately finish the task. That's nice. Well, not the Slayer task, but the uh, Cursed Bounty Hunter points one. Very nice. I was gonna check for any crates, but none of that. Alright, good luck, Mr. Nypex. Gotta say, I'm liking the cudgel. It's actually very accurate compared to the blood that we were using before. Rapid Karasi spec, of course. Unlucky. Just what I was hoping for. Another gold artifact. God, we've had so many. Cursed crate as well. I was just talking about it with Ryan the other day. Well, I wasn't talking to him about it. I sent him a message asking if these could be delayed. You know how the, this pet has a chance to double it? Well, you don't really get the time to drop it because it, it it pops in your inventory as soon as they hit zero HP. Would just be really nice if they delayed this and it showed up the same time as like statues would. So you can actually drop a bone guard or a cake worm or whatever the fuck you want to use to have an influence on those. But it appears so quick, I mean, I can't drop my pet before I know he's gonna die, you know? Oh well. Nice nonetheless, little crate. Shit's going pretty well so far. Oh shit, we have M-Dog again. Died to him the other day, I remember that very clearly. Tree hit me with that bombing of his. That's why you should always DFS. Wow. Sucks to suck, boys. Now I'm gonna die. Big oh. No way, <laughs> bro. I just hit two zeros on 38 HP. Fuck off. I know I tanked his hit as well, but goddamn, two two zeros. Mr. Nightbex, good luck to you. DH with a cursed orb is pretty interesting and uh, ballsy. Not the greatest hit. Didn't want to gym all that. Bro, that's the second time he has chanced me with his axe. I had a fight with him before, ended up deleting it because no one died, but uh, he almost had me there. Very similar way with Venge and Axe. It was such a scary combo, man. Derek, it's the sleeper build. Doesn't do a lot all the time, but and out of nowhere it can suddenly do a ton. 
And that's the scary part, to me at least. 70 fucking free. Are you gonna risk that? That was not a smart move, good fight though. Get a little cursed orb risk as well, so I really appreciate that. Nice. There we go, now that's a beautiful Venge execution. Didn't think that would kill him, but it did. Just barely killed him, good fight. Close one. Good fight, saw that one coming. The second I hit, why don't I click the floor in a minute like that when I see he's hitting? I just can't respond that quickly. I'm not good enough for that, unfortunately. Not when I'm high as a kite. The most painful part about that is losing a fucking tier 7 for sure. Good luck the next fight. I'm still on the same task for 8 minutes in a row without a single kill. That is just so bad. All my specs are kind of shit all around on everyone. Just not hitting well. Not well enough to kill, at least. <sighs> it's just a bit unfortunate. I hate fucking dying. Got 7 cursed orbs left, by the way, so we have lost approximately 8 so far. No, not approximately. We have lost eight so far. Since starting to do Curse PH. Yep, shit's back again. Crossy is wearing off on me. It was fun for a while, but has not been delivering for a little while now. Sometimes it does, but as much as I love the DFS tech, I just fail at it. I'm not quick enough to look at how bad it is to click that. Like, bro, I swear to God, if I died again to a DHX the same way, I probably would have cried. He hits me a 90 here, I'll accept that though. Thank you, good fight. Finally, finally a kill. It's been so long. Cursed crate as well. Makes up for that loss of from the last death. We match with Mr. Dino Man. I find it kind of strange that there's people that have, like him, they have an unholy behemoth. A pet worth a quad plus. But they still don't want to risk a cursed orb. Oh, so confusing to me. Like, why would you not be doing cursed BH at that point? What you make from regular PKing while owning a pet worth <laughs> over a quad must feel like picking up pennies on the sidewalk as a millionaire. That's what I imagine, right? Does that make sense? Like you obviously have a substantial amount of wealth, otherwise you would not be able to have a pet like that. At that point, why bother with low risk PKing? Like not, not in a bashing way or anything, I just fail to understand. I'm already at a point where it's like, I gotta do this if I want to make any profit at all. How did that not kill still? Jesus, man, this guy takes no risks. Could have gone for a mall there or some shit, but nah, he said fuck it. Keep getting just barely not enough damage in so many ways, on so many players, on so many things. Three minutes to finish this task though, goddamn. How about you just kill him? Like, he's 71 HP, I can emo that. Now he's fenched. That's scary. Of course, he hits a zero twice. You see what I mean? Like, shit is just not lining up for me. Holy fuck. Hits a zero before I hit him on the bench and then a zero after what he sh probably should have teleported already. A little mistake to hit me again, but it still hits a zero. You see what I mean? Ew. <sighs> Let me get this final fucking kill, goddamn. 33. Well, there goes a fill task. Fucking hell, bro. I just can't get kills today. <laughs> and then I kill him <laughs> a little after the task fills. <sighs> By the way, my task was two targets. Two fucking kills. That's all I had to do. Again, two kills. And I only got one in 50 minutes. That's how bad edge PK can be. Just constant fights of no one dying. And I just need one task completion to buy the stupid fucking relic. Why won't my shit hit, bro? It's... So not fun, 68 HP is way too low. Don't ask me, oh, that, that works, whatever. Good fight. The beginning is going so bad though, like, <laughs> it's terrible. How do I misclick my DFS again, bro? Why am I so retarded? This is why I played Runex for years, bro. I fucking suck at this game. Jesus Christ, I hate myself sometimes. It's crazy how how quick my, my self-esteem can go down when I do bad in PK. It's like my entire life depends on this. <laughs> oh, I just get into a negative mindset when shit goes bad. Yeah, that's why you eat, buddy. You see that stack I just did on your forehead? That's why you should eat. All right, well, finally we should be able now. Oh, it's 6.75, I miscalculated, but no. <laughs> 
it's right here. Third blood relic. Oh, let's jump that into the trading post. Give me the money. A little price can chant, and we get lucky. Two crest and a furthest Roblox, which is a new collection log slot. How are we looking on the donator boxes now? 18 out of 40. Wow. <laughs> We're almost there, boys. <laughs> yeah. One day. Two more regular M chests without keys, because I see me buying them for it. And a box, but literally nothing from all of that. I'll sell the crests, I guess. And then some blood money in the furthest rope, but everything else kind of dooky. Alright, couple more enchants. See if we can get another HS or perhaps a pair of claws. No HS. Spoon claws one and four? No. Oh, we got a Gold Hunger Games. Uh, Gold Hunger Games final. I got a DDS and a Gold AGS. Let's see if that's enough to win it. Well, we won that one. Nice. Microphone was off. I had to turn it on real quick. My bad. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new morning and we're gonna start with a little story time right after the trading post claim. One beautiful thing that has sold, the Blood Relic. A chunky 5 trill with everything else, 5.3. Uh, the next upgrade hasn't sold yet, I'm willing to go lower on it though, I don't care that much, but uh, 6.8 trill already. Now give me, let me give y'all a little story time. I don't usually talk about IRL things unless it's quick mentions like, oh, I was busy IRL, thus I couldn't play as much. Stuff like that, right? Let me tell y'all a little Karen encounter I just had. <laughs> Letting my dog out uh, literally less than an hour ago, right? Uh, my dog was doing a little a number two in the grass when all of a sudden, this bitch pulls up out of nowhere with her car, starts yoinking that horn out of nowhere, like super loud, the entire street could enjoy it, you know? Um, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? And nothing was happening, they weren't talking to me or anything, I figured, oh, maybe a cat ran or, or across the street or some shit, you know? And they, they honked it to get it out of the way, whatever. Um, I already had like a bag in my hand, I was about to clean up his little duty, which is completely fine. And then they start yelling at me, out of nowhere. Like, uh, don't want your dog to poop there, blah, blah, blah. Out of fucking nowhere. And it's a complete fine spot, right? We've had this dog for a year. He always goes there. It's like his basic morning routine to go in that piece of grass. Uh, it's not in front of anyone's house. It's not even close to anyone's house. It's a very open, like, space. And uh, th there's no signs, no nothing. There's no reason why he shouldn't be able to have a shit there as long as I clean it up. And thus, as the normal human being that I am, I wanted to, I'm, I, I don't like confrontation either, so I'm being polite and I'm like, can you tell me why? Why isn't he allowed to? I'm cleaning it up, aren't I? I already had the bag in my hand, ready to clean it up before he started sitting down, because I knew he was gonna go. And then they ignored me and drove off. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> why are you like this? God damn, bro. I've never... Probably my first time where I would say I had a full-on Karen encounter, because that is some next-level shit. You have nothing better to do in your life than worry about other people's dog shit. Oh, so weird, but pisses me off. Like, it's such a way to start the day. Now, like I said, I don't really often talk about these kind of things, but this pissed me off so much that I feel like I can't enjoy playing some chill spawn pk without talking about it and maybe you guys enjoy this kind of stuff i don't fucking know if y'all hate it i won't do it again <laughs> but i thought it was funny enough to share they just drove off i don't understand people like that it's so weird i wasn't like yelling or anything it was fucking raining too like it was pouring down and i'm standing there listening to their bullshit and then i ask for a reason and they drive off oy, 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 oy. You. Oh man, well that was a fun way to start the day, but at least that Blood Relic selling made up for it a little bit. We got some cash to spend. Um, I had a conversation with Headaches and uh, Happy Tail yesterday about like what I, what else I could do. Because I feel like I don't want to use the same setups when it comes to PKing for too long. It gets a little repetitive, you guys have seen it at some point, like use something else. And that's exactly what I want to do. So. One fun idea was the Inquisitor Mall that he came up with, because it actually can hit pretty, pretty high. 
Uh, he said he would try and get me one so he could sell it to me a little cheaper. Uh, so I'm going to wait for that and probably give that a go when it comes around. Other than that, I think for the majority of things, I want to keep just grinding out votes and slowly work towards uh, the required ranking of sponsorship. Because uh, I'm so tired of having to go to my POH to restore special attack. It's kind of ass. But when you get sponsored, when you use Nurse, it also restores your spec. So that is for me like the biggest reason why I want to get it. But then on top of that, sponsor will increase our weeklies because you get one extra reward so we would get four m tickets for example instead of three which is really nice we get access to the sponsor cerberus so like a whole bunch of extra free money and then let alone once we eventually get the mythic it gets further increased so we would get five m tickets five crests 50 bill cash five five dollar bonds same with the vintage stuff which is also a good idea i might do that in a second just to get it out the way before it resets i mean still 15 dollars um so might get that out the way too. Just gonna take it slow and steady. I, I enjoy making the money, but I'm not in a rush to get the mythic out the way because I feel like, especially in PvP, like I got rid of the web weaver, but I'm not really missing it because I don't really feel like PvMing all that often. Um, but if we're gonna do a lot of PKing in the future, then I would like to have enough money to spread around the activity. Occasionally PK in this, occasionally PK in that, and then try to switch it up. Different spec weapon, maybe a different KO weapon, maybe a different style, you know, etc, etc. Just to keep things a little bit more fun. I know it's a bit of a long clip, but uh, I'll ask my editor to make the video a little longer because of all the yapping. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed story time. I'm gonna go do a little vintage weekly, I suppose. I think. Saw someone yelling at Hot's Check how crowded it is.